Google announced some big news about their AI tools. Just watch this demo video. Okay, let's do some tests. All right, uh, give me a band name for this duo. Golden Stripes. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Gemini. What is that part of the speaker called? That is the tweeter. It produces high frequency sounds. What does that part of the code do? This code defines encryption and decryption functions. It seems to use AESCBC encryption to encode and decode data based on a key and an initialization vector, IV. Do you remember where you saw my glasses? Yes, I do. Your glasses were on the desk near a red apple. <laughs> what can I add here to make this system faster? Adding a cache between the server and database could improve speed. So this is a direct competitor of OpenAI's new model called ChatGPT 4.0 which can also see, listen, and engage in conversation with humans. Let's watch a demo of GPT-40. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Rocky. I'm doing great. How about you? I'm awesome. Listen, I got some huge news. Oh, do tell. I'm all ears. Well, in a few minutes, I'm going to be interviewing at OpenAI. Have you heard of them? OpenAI? Huh? Sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> Kidding, of course. <laughs> That's incredible, Rocky. What kind of interview? Well, it's for a software engineering role, but I just need to know, do I look presentable, professional? Well, Rocky, <laughs> you definitely have the I've been coding all night look down, which could actually work in your favor. Maybe just run a hand through your hair or lean into the mad genius vibe. Well, your enthusiasm is what's really going to shine through. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just going to throw this on. What do you think? Rocky, that's quite a statement piece. I, I mean, you, you'll definitely stand out, though maybe not in the way you're hoping for an interview. Okay, I got it, I got it. It's crazy how this AI tool interacts with humans and laughs after making a joke. Google is about to introduce their AI model Gemini to Google Search, Workspace, and Android phones. Let me explain how Gemini will change Google Search. Gemini can find out what is useful to you and organize information in an easy to understand way. For example, instead of typing a question and sifting through many links, you can ask complex questions, and Gemini will search the internet to bring you the best answers. Gemini is a multimodal model, meaning it can understand images, videos, and audio. You can circle anything in an image, and Gemini will search for it. This approach saves you time by handling the search process for you. If you've bought something and want to return it, you can ask Gemini to find the receipt, schedule the pickup, and handle all the boring tasks automatically. But let me show you the kinds of use cases we are working hard to solve. Let's start with shopping. It's pretty fun to shop for shoes, and a lot less fun to return them when they don't fit. Imagine if Gemini could do all the steps for you, searching your inbox for the receipt, locating the order number from your email, filling out a return form, and even scheduling a pickup. That's much easier, right? <laughs> Let's take another example that's a bit more complex. Say you just moved to Chicago. You can imagine Gemini and Chrome working together to help you do a number of things to get ready, organizing, reasoning, synthesizing on your behalf. For example, you will want to explore the city and find services nearby, from dry cleaners to dog walkers. You'll have to update your new address across dozens of websites. Gemini can work across these tasks and will prompt you for more information when needed, so you're always in control. That part is really important as we prototype these experiences. And it's not just in Google Search. They are adding this intelligence to all Google Apps. For example, in Google Photos, you can ask things like, what's my license plate number? Gemini will search your entire photo library, find your car, and read the plate to give you the exact number. If you ask, when did my child learn to swim? It will look through your photos, find the first pictures of your child swimming, and tell you the date. This means you can access your memories in ways that were never possible before. Let me show you an example in Google Photos. Say you're at a parking station ready to pay, but you can't recall your license plate number. And then scroll through years' worth of photos looking for the right one. Now you can simply ask photos. 
It knows the cars that appear often. It triangulates which one is yours and just tells you the license plate number. And ass photos can also help you search your memories in a deeper way. For example, you might be reminiscing about your daughter Lucia's early milestones. You can ask photos, when did Lucia learn to swim? You can even follow up with something more complex. Show me how Lucia's swimming has progressed. Here, Gemini goes beyond a simple search, recognizing different contexts, from doing laps in the pool, to snorkeling in the ocean, to the text and dates on her swimming certificates, and photos packages it up all together in a summary, you can really take it all in and relive amazing memories all over again. We are rolling out Ask Photos this, this summer with more capabilities to come. They also integrated AI into Google Workspace. In Gmail, you can search your inbox and get quick summaries. And in Google Meet, you can get minutes and summaries of everything discussed. And it now supports over 68 languages. People are always searching their emails in Gmail. We are working to make it much more powerful with Gemini. Let's look at how. As a parent, you want to know everything that's going on with your child's school. OK, maybe not everything. But you want to stay informed. Gemini can help you keep up. Now we can ask Gemini to summarize all recent emails from the school. In the background, it's identifying relevant emails, even analyzing attachments like PDFs. And you get a summary of the key points and action items. So helpful. Maybe you were traveling this week and you couldn't make the PTA meeting. The recording of the meeting is an hour long. If it's from Google Meet, you can ask Gemini to give you the highlights. There's a parents group looking for volunteers. You're free that day. Of course, Gemini can draft a reply. There are countless other examples of how this can make life easier. Gemini 1.5 Pro is available today in Workspace Labs, and Aparna will share more later on. In fact, you can now have multiple AI tutors go through your study material and explain concepts using topics you personally like. Google has an educational tool called Notebook LM, where you can upload your study material. With Gemini Inside Notebook LM, you can have realistic AI tutors who can read PDFs, videos, and images, and then give you detailed explanations on any topic mentioned in your files. Gemini 1.5 Pro is coming to Notebook LM, and it's great. Let me show you. So here we are in Notebook LM. You can load it up with all the materials here on the left. In this notebook, I've been using it with my younger son, and I've added some of his science worksheets, a few slide decks from his teacher, and even an open source textbook full of charts and diagrams. With 1.5 Pro, it instantly creates this notebook guide with a helpful summary and can generate a study guide, an FAQ, or even quizzes. But for my son, Jimmy, he really learns best when he can listen to something. So we've prototyped a new feature with Gemini, and it's called Audio Overviews. Notebook LM is going to take all the materials on the left as input and output them into a lively science discussion personalized for him. Let's take a listen. So let's, uh, let's dive into physics. What's on deck for today? Well, uh, we're starting with the basics, force and motion. Okay. And that, of course, means we have to talk about Sir Isaac Newton and his three laws of motion. Ah, uh, yes, the foundation for understanding how objects move and interact. Ah, uh, yes, this is where multimodal really shines. Now, it generated this audio discussion based on that text material. And what's amazing is that my son and I can join into the conversation and steer it whichever direction we want. When I tap, join. Hold on, we have a question. What's up, Josh? Yeah, can you give my son Jimmy a basketball example? Hey, Jimmy! That's a fantastic idea. Basketball is actually a great way to visualize force and motion. Let's break it down. Okay, so first, imagine a basketball just sitting there on the court. It's not moving, right? That's because all the forces acting on it are balanced. The downward pull of grab. Pretty cool, right? 
Google has finally revealed their generative AI models, which can create images and videos that look incredibly real. The image model is called Imagine 3, and the video model is called VO, which can create high-quality 1080p videos. These models are strong competitors to OpenAI's Sora and Runway ML. Today, I'm so excited to introduce Imagine 3. It's our most capable image generation model yet. Imagine 3 is more photorealistic. You can literally count the whiskers on its snout with richer details, like this incredible sunlight in the shot, and fewer visual artifacts or distorted images. It understands prompts written the way people write. The more creative and detailed you are, the better. And Imagine 3 remembers to incorporate small details, like the wildflowers or small blue bird, in this longer prompt. Plus, this is our best model yet for rendering text, which has been a challenge for image generation models. There's one more area I'm really excited to share with you. Our teams have made some incredible progress in generative video. Today, I'm excited to announce our newest, most capable generative video model called VO. VO creates high quality 1080p videos from text, image, and video prompts. It can capture the details of your instructions in different visual and cinematic styles, you can prompt for things like aerial shots of a landscape or a time lapse, and further edit your videos using additional prompts. You can use VO in our new experimental tool called VideoFX. We're exploring features like storyboarding and generating longer scenes. VO gives you unprecedented creative control. Techniques for generating static images have come a long way, but generating video is a different challenge altogether. Not only is it important to understand where an object or subject should be in space, it needs to maintain this consistency over time, just like the car in this video. They also announced an amazing AI tool for music called Music AI Sandbox. Another area full of creative possibility is generative music. I've been working in this space for over 20 years, and this is by far the most exciting year of my career. We're exploring ways of working with artists to expand their creativity with AI. Together with YouTube, we've been building Music AI Sandbox, a suite of professional music AI tools that can create new instrumental sections from scratch, transfer styles between tracks, and more. To help us design and test them, we've been working closely with incredible musicians, songwriters, and producers. Some of them made even entirely new songs in ways that would have not been possible without these tools. Let's hear from some of the artists we've been working with. I'm going to put this right back into the music AI tool, the same boom, 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 boom. What happens if Haiti meets Brazil? Dude, I have no clue what's about to be spread out. This is what excites me. As a hip hop producer, we dug in the crates. We play these vinyls and the part where there's no vocal, we pull it, we sample it, and we create an entire song around that. So right now we digging in the infinite crate, it's endless. Where I found the AI really useful for me, this way to like fill in the sparser sort of elements of my loops. Okay, let's try bongos. We're gonna put viola, we're gonna put rhythmic clapping. Okay. And we're gonna see what happens there. And it makes it sound, ironically, at the end of the day, a little more human. So then this is entirely Google's loops right here. These are gloops. It's like having like this weird friend that's just like, try this, try that. And then you're like, oh, okay, yeah, no, that's pretty dope. The tools are capable of speeding up the process of what's in my head, getting it out. You're able to move light speed with your creativity. This is amazing. That right there? So that's it, guys. Please don't forget to let me know what you think about AI and your job. Thanks for watching.